now we will start with candida candida albicans so candida albicans shows renal broad phenomenon and its chlamydospore formation on cornmeal agar so we we need to understand this that it shows renal renal broad phenomenon and chlamydospore formation on cornmeal agar so what is renal broad phenomenon so it shows germ tube formation so see you can see here this picture these are tubes tube like structure so these are known as germ tubes okay so this is formation of germ tube is known as renal broad phenomenon so when this germ tube uh, uh, formation uh, takes place when the culture growth is put in human plasma okay so then it shows renal bro broad phenomenon and then on cornmeal this is number two important thing on cornmeal agar it shows chlamydospores chlamydospores are formed you have to remember that chlamydospores are formed so what is cornmeal agar cornmeal agar is nutrient nutrient deficient deficient medium okay so what you need to remember from candida here is that it shows germ tube formation and it shows chlamydospores are formed here okay so these are the diseases caused by um, candida so number one is oral thrush okay and number two is esophageal candidiasis then vaginal candidiasis then candidemia that is candida yeast cells in blood and candida yeast cells in urine that is candidiuria oncomycosis when nail folds are involved then sometimes it shows meningitis also in neutropenic individuals and chronic mucocutaneous can candidiasis that is a t cell disorder which is a lifelong disorder okay so candida infections are common in neutropenic individuals the patients which are suffering from neutropenia they are suff they suffer mostly from candida infection and conditions with decreased cmi that is condition with decreased cell mediated immunity like aids malignancy and chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis this is a t cell disorder t cell disorder uh, in which the patient suffers throughout life okay now lab diagnosis how will do the lab diagnosis so lab diagnosis is done through tissue biopsy like tissue biopsy take the tissue biopsy tissue biopsy and the samples samples are taken for gram staining so when gram staining is done yeast cells are seen so we know candida is a true yeast like organism okay it's like true yeast is cryptococcus okay so culture on sda uh, sda dextrose agar creamy pasty colonies that is toothpaste like colonies are seen okay toothpaste like colonies are seen and on chrome agar chrome means what color okay method colorful agar is seen used for candida albicans and non candida albicans identification so then we can also do sugar fermentation methods beta glucan testing this has come in your neat exam neat pg i guess so beta glucan testing is done for remember beta glucan testing is done for is done for candida albicans okay then also we do pcr also pcr also for candida albicans so these are the two um pictures related to candida this is chrome agar chrome agar is used for differentiating candida albicans from non-candida albicans okay so non-candida these are candida albicans you can see this green two who are on this side right side this is candida albicans this is candida tropicalis this is candida cruciae so defined chrome agar means chrome, defined colors are shown here okay and this is on sda okay this is candida albicans on sda sda okay so candida albicans on sda what it shows creamy pasty colonies so you can see here these are creamy pasty colonies 
Okay, this is on SDA. Start preparing for the NEET MDS from your home. Dr. Pranab Academy of Dental Sciences. Online classes for all first, second, third, and final year students. NEET MDS online test series, unlimited practice, and highest quality teaching. Affordable pricing. Download the app now. Next, next we'll study about Cryptococcus neoformans. So Cryptococcus neoformans is also transferred through pigeon present in pigeon feces. Okay, feces of pigeon. Okay. Then there is aerosol transmission. Then the lung is involved. Then there is hematogenous spread. And it might lead to meningitis. Okay. So Cryptococcus neoformans is the most common cause of meningitis in HIV patient. Most common cause of meningitis in HIV positive patients is what Cryptococcus neoform. Okay, neoformans. Okay, fine. Now we'll talk about the lab diagnosis so lab diagnosis we take the csf sample because meningitis is caused right so meningitis what we will take we will take the csf sample so in that we do indian ink staining so this is a negative stain indian ink staining is a negative stain that means the background is dark see this is indian ink stain the background is dark and the um, the organisms are seen in this uh, organism scenes are this okay so in, in mm, this negative stain is is uh, background is dark and in that background you can see bright colored organisms okay now culture on sda we see mucoid and smooth smooth um, organisms then on niger seed agar we should see blackish brownish colonies okay now this is important latex card agglutination test for cryptococcal uh, antigens so there here you can see there is no agglutination and here you can see there is agglutination you have to remember this latex card agglutination test is done for cryptococcus cryptococcus neoform months okay fine and we also do PCR for PCR for cryptococcus neoformans. Then drug of choice for cryptococcal meningitis is amphotericin B plus fluocytocyte. I think it's mistaken. It's true. Uh, fluocytosin. What is this? Fluocytosin. Mistaken in writing. Fluocytosin. Now we will talk about zygomycetes. So zygomycetes we have rhizophore rhizophus mucor and absidia it causes causes infection in terminally ill patients okay it causes infection in terminally ill patients now we'll talk about rhinocerebral zygomyces it is caused by different rhizophus species and it is a fulminant disease on tissue biopsy and HAE stain, we see accepted hyphae, and this is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means more than 90 degree, like this, maybe 120 degree. So what we do, tissue biopsy plus SDA, the culture is grown, then we put it in LPCB, lactophenyl, cotton blue, and then what do we see? We see like this, like this. So this is orangea this is orangea 4 and this is rhizoids okay root like structure so now mucormycosis okay so mucormycosis occurs in it predisposes in patients suffering from diabetes mellitus and then in the patients who have frequent blood transfusion and also in chronic dialysis 
patient. So you have to remember this mucormycosis M4 MD. We say MD like doctor uh, they write MD right or in our um, dental we have MDS. So you can remember like this M4 mucormycosis D for diabetes mellitus. So MD okay otherwise you can remember M4 mellitus okay frequent blood transfusion you have to remember and chronic dialysis okay i will talk about aspergillus 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 fumigatus Asperg aspergillus fumigatus causes abpa that is allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis you have to remember this aspergillus fumigatus causes abpa okay and that also it causes aspergilloma oculomycosis and otomycosis aspergillus niger causes auto mycosis so this is aspergillus niger niger we can understand that it it is black in color okay and this is fumigatus like fumes fumes it's there from here to here okay not whole part is not covered from here to here but in case of uh, there is another species flavus in in that uh, we have complete covering from here to here so this is aspergillus fumigatus and aspergillus niger and there is something called as aspergillus clavatus. It causes mal testers lung. It is common in barley malt factory workers. Common in barley malt factory workers and it is an occupational disease. Now this is aspergillus fumigatus. You can see like it is like fumes. And this is aspergillus flavus and this is aspergillus niger okay this is culture okay and this is i told you this is aspergillus flavus it includes the whole part aspergillus flavus and their aflatoxin is associated with hepatocellular carcinoma that is hcc okay lab diagnosis we do tissue biopsy plus he hne staining isocephtate hyphae dichotomous branching acute angle see this angle is acute right the septate angle is acute. Septate angle is acute around 45 degree. This is your aspergillus. Okay. Now ergotoxicosis. This is ergo ergot poisoning. So in this, what happens? Edibles are um, edibles are eaten with claviceps purpura seeds, and we get ergotoxicosis. Consumption of contaminated edibles lead to Saint Vitus dance. You remember this name? Saint Vitus Dan and Saint Anthony's fire. Anthony's fire, why? There is gastric, gastric irritation occurs. There is fire in the belly and leads to restlessness. There is restlessness and that's why it is known as Saint Vitus Dan. Restlessness, like we are moving here and there, right? When we are restlessness, we, when we are restless. So this is known as Saint Vitus dance. Okay. Now, pneumocystis carni or pneumocystis zero wiki. It is a protozoa cyst, tropocyte is also present. It's a fungus, chromosomal studies favors fungus. Okay. Pneumocystis carni pneumonia is found where? In the patients with CD4 count less than 200, that is HIV positive. HIV positive, this is important, we need to remember. Drug of choice is cotrimoxazole. Then in lab diagnosis, most important is this gomori methamine silver the trophozoites are green and the cysts are black and it is not cultured on sda this is very important pneumocystis cannot be cultured cannot be cultured on what sda okay cannot be cultured on sda now some occupational diseases this is farmer's lung caused due to hay dust this is not so important okay this is a type 3 hypersensitivity caused by micromonospora feni and thermo i don't want you to be too much concentrating on these things that you forget the most important thing so this is bagostis causes caused by sugarcane dust walster's lung caused by barley and malt and chaser's lung caused associated with cheese factory workers okay so just uh, revise once the things we have studied candida we need to know renal broads phenomenon chlamydospore formation then uh, this is the germ tube formation chlamydospore we have to remember 
and these are the various diseases caused by candida then we see in aids malignancies chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis then um, culture on sda chromagar on sda we see creamy pasty colonies in chromagar we see different colors of different candida species okay and cryptococcus neoformans most common cause of meningitis in hiv patient then they saw uh, indian ink staining they in negative background we see the organisms okay then latex agglutination test is done for cryptococcus neoformans okay drug of choice is ampetericin b and flu cytosine then zygomycetes we have rhizopus mucor and abscedia it causes uh, infection in terminally ill patients okay and rhizopus uh, rhizo rhinocerebral zygomycetes and mucormycosis it is uh, predisposes in diabetes mellitus so m4 mellitus we need to remember the patient with frequent blood transfusion and chronic dialysis and this aspergillus these three pictures you need to remember fumigators flebus and niger okay so this pneumocystis occurs in hiv patient and this is the typical crushed crushed ball crushed something crushed appearance is there crushed appearance see this looks very much crushed okay so this is your uh, pneumocystis carni okay these are defined um, occupational disease which are not very much important okay so with this we finish our class and we are done with mycology okay so thank you very much for listening to the class and um, if you are watching me on youtube please do give a like and share and please share it to your friends so that they are also benefited thank you very much